Hello and welcome to Chemicals Knowledge Hub TV, your one-stop shop for industry interviews and insight. I'm David and today we're joined by one of the team from Catalent, a leading global provider of advanced delivery technologies, development and manufacturing solutions for drugs, biologic, uh, cell and gene therapies and consumer health products. Joining us today is Craig Scott, who is Director of Product Development at Catalan's Swindon facility in the UK. Craig, thank you very much for joining us. Are you actually in the Swindon office at the moment? I am in the Swindon office, yes. Aha, and how, how is social distancing going in your workplace at the moment? Yeah, it's going not too bad. I mean, we've, we've reduced the footfall on site probably by about half. So I've still got many of my scientists working in the lab, but many of the office-based staff are, are working from home. Yeah. So we've probably got but about half, half the number be, of people on site. As best as it can be, business as usual for now. Um, listen, um, here's something I didn't think I'd be saying when I woke up this morning. Let's talk about taste masking, shall we, uh, Craig? Um, and in particular, mm -hmm. what the challenges are when it comes to uh, taste masking in orally disintegrating dosage forms. Tell us a bit more about that. Yeah, no problem. So I think for uh, for answer the question, I'll just uh, say a little bit about what oral disintegrating tablets are. Essentially, they they are what they, they see on the tin. They they disintegrate within the oral cavity, and they're meant to disintegrate rapidly. In fact, the FDA have guidelines to state that they must disintegrate within thirty seconds. The manufacturers have also got to consider the, the size of the tablet and the weight of the tablet so that they don't present a, a choking hazard. And obviously because they dissolve rapidly on the, the tongue or, or under the tongue, uh, they can prevent a real challenge for taste. Because many, many uh, active pharmaceutical ingredients are really foul tasting or they produce really negative sensations in the mouth such as stinging, or bitterness. So yeah, that really presents as a challenge that we've, uh, we've worked hard to overcome. And obviously yeah, so, it can so present compliance that issues you guys as well. Catalan have been doing to, to address those then? What's, uh, what's your approach? So we've got a number of approaches with APIs that have got quite mild, uh, unpleasant tastes. We can use things like sweeteners or, or flavours to help mask those. Or we can we can complex the APIs with things like ion exchange resins or cyclodextrins, and those can actually trap the molecule, so they're they're not uh, available for the for the tongue receptors. But recently, we've developed quite a novel coating technology, which we term as Zydus Ultra. And for this, we use a quite a novel technology called resonance acou acoustic mixing. And it's a technology that's typically used in the, the ballistics or the accelerants industry. But we've managed to, to use it to, to coat APIs. And what we, I can tell you a little bit about that if you, if you want. Yeah, no, no, this sounds really interesting and not an obvious source of, of, of inspiration, um, you know, when you talk about the, the ballistics industry. So Zydis Ultra, uh, I think that was. So, yeah, how... How is it different and, uh, and how are you using it then? So typically what we do is we have an API molecule and we mix it with a micronized polymer. But what we do is we, we put it into an acoustic mixer. And this acoustic right. mixer really uh, uses really high acceleration uh, to collide the API in the polymer in such a way the, the API, or the, the polymer will stick around the, the surface of the API and the collision energies are really quite intense. The accelerations can get up to about 100 times the force of gravity, up to 100 G. Wow. And what that does is it increases the temperature slightly as well so that the polymer actually deforms around the API, forming a quite a thin continuous layer around the API. And obviously, that helps uh, mask the taste on the tongue. Really There's interesting a, a stuff. Yeah, re really interesting stuff. So, in terms of the the, the medications that you that you're applying 
this too. Um, is there any is there any detriment? Are, are there any uh, positives? What, what what are the advantages of, of working in this way? So I think one of the one of the, the major advantages, uh, well, for for Zydus anyway. I mean, Zydus is a. I mean, I work with Zydus. I think it's a great technology. It's uh, because it's very fast disintegrating. It's very convenient. You can take it without water, which means you can take it on the go. It's it's a really good product for paediatrics, for geriatrics, and for a lot of disease states where swallowing is a real difficulty. And a, a good example of that is Parkinson's disease. Mm -hmm. uh, but what we've been able to do with Zydus Ultra is is really expand the, the space which we can work in. We can increase the the amount of API we can get into our tablets, which has meant we can we can look at much more over the counter medications such as ibuprofen and paracetamol, where you typically get up to about 200 milligrams or 400 milligrams. Previously, we haven't been able to do that with our standard Zydus formats. So it's really allowed us to, to look into the OTC space. And essentially, we have been working very closely with, with ibuprofen quite recently. And we've actually proven that our, our technology is bioequivalent to the, the the tablets and the suspensions that are on the market. Right. Exciting stuff. Uh, listen, Craig, thank you very much for taking time out of your, your busy day to uh, talk to us about what you've been working on over there in Swindon. Uh, and uh, well, I wish you all the very best in, in, in developing that and, um, and the, the rest of your operations as we start to emerge out of the, uh, out of the coronavirus lockdown over the coming weeks. And months. Thanks again for joining us and uh, I hope to catch up with you again soon. Thank you very much. Goodbye.